few days ago, I received a letter from a spiritist lady with the following message. Amalia, hello my dear, a newborn has been recently left on my doorstep. It was really cold outside, pure cruelty. Since then, I have been touched and it feels like I have a strong connection with that little baby. I felt I loved him forever. I have always tried to become a mother, but it just never happened. And at that very moment, when I was starting to believe that it was never going to happen, this beautiful being came and brought me joy. The mother of this child deserves my deepest compassion. That is why I need your help. Can your spiritual mentor guide me? I am very anxious to know the details of our past life. Believe me, it is not a simple curiosity, but there is a strong feeling that he is linked to my past, waiting for your reply. I was very interested in this story, and as soon as I could, I went to talk to Father Germain. Father Germain, this lady that dreamed of becoming a mother and this little boy do they know each other from the past lives? Yes, Amalia. This little boy was in a past life. Her son, flesh of her flesh, blood of her blood. She was royalty and deceived by a tycoon man. She became pregnant. She was going to have this baby boy. Suddenly, she found out that he would never be with her because he was already involved with somebody else. She was devastated. After realizing what happened, she told her older brother. Her brother was mad and took her to a far, far away country. She found herself in a very small village between the mountains, and there is where a little baby was born. Right after the delivery, her baby was taken to a charity institution and left there with other orphan children. The young mother desperately begged to keep her precious baby, but without success. After that, she was forced to go back broken harder to her castle. Like that, she spent the rest of her days. When her body died, her spirit disconnected. Right upon arrival in the spiritual world, she asked to go back as the boy's spiritual guide and to help him in his new existence. She had the right to be a mother, but our spiritual lives are not simple, and the boy's spirit had come from a series of incarnations as an orphan. The boy also had committed crimes in his past life. For all those reasons is that he was abandoned at her doorstep. Amalia, tell the lady to love that child that was trusted to her so she can teach him and guide him to do good in life so his spirit can grow and evolve. What a touching story. The generous lady that embraced that little troubled soul will be so happy. Happy are those souls who know how to love.